Welcome to MSV videos. So in this series of lecture we are discussing how to write a Java program. Before getting into that, we will discuss uh, some Java version history. So currently we are in Java 8. So you can able to uh, search in a Wikipedia uh, Java version history. You can able to see that Java standard edition 8 is released. So now till now we received Java SE 8 144. It is released in 26th July 2017. Java 9 is going to release. So now let us concentrate on our programming. So throughout this lecture, we are going to use the IDE, NetBeans IDE. So IDE stands for it is Integrated Development Environment. So in which which contain all the supporting terminologies related to a program. So here we can create a new uh, project. If you want to create a new project, then I can provide a project name. And under this project, we can able to create different set of applications. Here I created a Java uh, project, Java application one in which here I am creating the number of example files. So if I want to add a new class file, then I have to click, right click this project file and then new and then we have to provide a class name. So if I want to provide the class name as one, so automatically uh, one dot Java will be created. So as you know that uh, your class name must be same as that of your file name in Java. So first of all, you have to enter the class name. So let us concentrate on the first program. So this is a simple example which is used to add two numbers that's it. Uh, so I am providing a class example 3 and here in Java the main uh, function is actually public static void name. Shortly we will discuss why it is a static. To get an input from a user we are going to use a scanner class. So scanner is a class available in Java util package. So in, inside the util package the scanner is available in Java everything is a class all those classes will be available inside a package in c and c plus plus we are calling it as a header files all those functions are uh, available inside the header files we are including the header files in java we are importing so a class is defined as a class contains a variables and then a methods so a class may contain set of variables or a class may contain say methods also so if i want to use any predefined method i need a class and then in C and C++, if I am using a function printf and scanf, obviously we will use iostream.h or stdio.h. Here all those things are uh, uh, packed into a single group, that's what we are calling it as a class. That's what we are calling it as a encapsulation. Collection of variables and fields is a variables and methods is called as a class. Now let us consider a scanner class. Scanner class are defined after the version of Java 5. So scanner. If I want to access a class member, I want to create an object, please keep, keep remind this. So I am creating an object in new scanner of system.in is used to specifically mention the system input scene. That is from your keyboard, you can able to enter that. So by using the object of the scene, I can able to read the input from the user. Then I obviously I am declaring three variables A, B, C. And then by using the system.out, that is output string, println is actually a method i am uh, using displaying a string enter numbers and then i want to use only the integer variable so in a in uh, in is actually indicating the scanner class object so in that next int of is a method which is used to receive only the integer value from the user and then b equal to in that next int of so it is also receiving input value c equal to a plus b and then you can able to print the result what is the main advantage of using this idea is so if I want to know what are the methods available inside the scanner class, so actually in is uh, ob object of a scanner class. So I am pressing dot, then automatically you can able to see these all the methods which are all declared inside a scanner class. So you can you can see the methods, different methods are there. So next int, we use this method. So this method is used to receive the input as an integer and similarly next float method is there. This method is used to receive the input as a float value, next double, next byte, next boolean, next line method is there and next stuff method itself is available. So this is the main advantage of using ID. You can able to verify how many, what are the things are there. So if suppose if I am not including this util package, so there are, there are some errors are available. Here you see, you can able to see that scanner. So if I am clicking this little bulb here, then automatically it will show some suggestions. Here you see add import for uh, java util dot scanner so automatically it will be imported then the errors will be to execute a separate program in a project just right click and then directly you can run you no need to debug this automatically it will be debugged and then it will be run now here i am seeing an output i am entering two numbers five and four 
so i am getting the result thanks for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you